Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Planes Overhead and uh, we are continuing with our A320 series and uh, we are doing APU today and disclaimer remains the same, do not use any of this information that you are learning here in practical application. Okay, so we are starting off with APU. Now APU is an uh, auxiliary power unit. So it's basically an extra self-contained unit on the tail cone of the aircraft. I'll just show you an image here as you can see here. So this is at the tail cone of the aircraft. Okay, so it's kind of a mini engine, you can call it. So what it does is supplies aircraft with pneumatic and electrical power. And on the ground, it supplies bleed air for starting the engines and for the air conditioning system. And it supplies electrical power to the electrical system. Now during takeoff, very important, it supplies bleed air for air conditioning. So this is basically your packs of takeoff so that you reduce the load on the engines itself where you require optimum aircraft performance so apu provides the bleed air for the air conditioning so that your engines give the best performance and in flight it does all of it backs up electrical system gives air conditioning as well if required and can be used to start the engines because it gives bleed apu may obtain power from three sources that is the batteries the normal electrical system or from the ground service okay so there are three sources that the APU can be started with and this is the diagram of the APU and uh, this is the flap here where you get the air is taken in, drawn in, it's under the fuselage on the right side and uh, this is the compressor here, turbine, uh, typically a, a small engine as I told you and uh, here are fuel, fuel nozzles, in the fuel system you will uh, understand that the fuel for the APU comes from the left tanks I'll talk about more uh, in uh, more about it in the fuel system, okay? And this is the bleed valve here, surge control valve, and this is how an APU looks like. It has its own uh, gearbox and oil uh, lubrication system starter. It's a separate entity altogether. All right. So, like the FedEx in the engine, uh, since I've not done the engine video yes yet, so FedEx is something like uh, which is a a computer that controls the starting up shutdown of the engine so in that is in the engines for the APU we have ECB the electronic control box is a full authority digital electronic controller that performs the bulk of the APU systems logic for all modes of engine operation such as these are the functions of the ECB sequences the start and monitors it monitors speed and temperature monitors bleed air sequences the shutdown, controls the automatic shutdown, monitors the fuel flow into the APU. So it has various functions related to the APU which help and keep the APU running in the safe parameters. So in case if it has to shut down due to various reasons, it will automatically have a shutdown procedure. So that is with the ECB. Now a few more points on the APU. Now the air intake and the uh, flap is an electrically fla uh, operated flap which allows external air to reach the compressor inlet. As I showed you here, this one here is the flap. The left fuel feed line supplies the APU as I told you. If the pressure is not available in the left fuel pump, the APU has its own fuel pump okay which starts automatically so apu fuel pump uh, it is not shown on this diagram it's on the other side so if the left tank fuel pumps are not providing enough pressure for the apu to start then there's an apu fuel pump by itself which runs automatically to provide fuel supply to the apu the air bleed system of the apu is fully automatic the ecb sets the apu speed to meet the demands on the air bleed system so just for your uh, extra knowledge, uh, the APU generally runs at a very uh, end where the rotation is at 99% or 100%. So now the, since the air bleed system is fully automatic, what it means is at around about my, between minus 18 degrees centigrade and 35 degrees centigrade, the speed is at 99%. Rest apart from this, below minus 18 and above 35, the speed of the APU is running at 100%. So this is just for your extra uh, knowledge. And uh, if the system detects an APU fire while the aircraft is on the ground, it shuts down the APU automatically and discharges extinguishing agent. This is all automatic. But the APU does not shut down or discharge extinguishing agent in flight on its own. 
the the pilot has to do the action that means now why is this is uh, since suppose you have parked the aircraft and there's no crew operating crew in the uh, aircraft there's nobody on board but the aircraft air conditioning system is running via the apu now since there's no crew on board and you are on the ground if the apu happens to catch a fire there'll be nobody to shut it down so that logic has been provided in the apu uh, logic system where it detects that it is on ground and if it detects a fire it will shut down automatically and discharge the extinguishing agent also automatically without any human intervention but in the flight that doesn't happen because the pilot is always there and if a fire is detected a warning will come up and that will be good enough to do the further procedure on the ecam so i guess uh, we'll talk about this uh, uh, the overhead panel that's the master switch and the start switch here apu so the master switch what the sequence is very important to remember what happens when you click the master switch on the ecb performs a power up test just to check itself the apu air intake flap opens the apu fuel isolation valve opens the basically the fuel and if no fuel tank pump is running the apu fuel pump operates okay so all this is the function of the master switch now what happens if the start switch is pressed when the flap is completely open the starter is energized this is your electrical supply in terms of you know it could be on batteries or it could be normal electrical power or it could be from the ground source as you remember the three sources to start the apu and 1.5 seconds after the starter is energized the ignition turns on that is the starter ignition turns on and when the end reaches around about 60% the apu starter is deenergized and the ignition is turned off and 60% is considered to be that apu is self sufficient and it will reach the speed that is required that is around about 99 or 100% depending on the outside conditions so these both uh, uh, master switches and start switch is important to know what their functions are and once it reaches 99.5% this on light goes and avail light comes in green so, uh, indicating that your apu is available to be used 99.5% that is or it can also come at uh, 95% n after uh, when it has maintained 5 seconds after 95% it has reached so that also it comes avail okay then you can use your bleed or electrical whichever you want to use fault light comes for various reasons actually over speed under speed conditions if there's a fire if there is any uh, uh, condition there is no fuel supply and uh, the ignition fault is there lot of lot of faults are there that uh, will trigger this fault light in amber the master switch uh, suppose there's oil pressure temperatures are low and uh, your or heat the apu is heated up so you know all different kinds of fault lights will all different kinds of reason for the fault light to come up so i guess that's all was a short review on apu uh, refer the fcom for uh, more in depth because the there are few points on the master uh, switch regarding the fault light which you would like to do which i felt was out of the scope of this video all right thank you for watching and subscribe to the youtube channel if you like the video give it a thumbs up do not forget to share this video and comment below if you have any doubts you can always reach me on these uh, links that i have put up whatsapp email or facebook youtube Cheers and happy landings guys have a great day bye bye